Hey guys, thank you for watching. Ivan Blasco is here. So this is my little reflection and review of a uh, YouTube video that I just saw. It was titled "Confessions of a Reformed Cardiologist: A Plant-Based Diet in Your Heart." And this is from and I may and I'm and I apologize um, if I mispronounce uh, his name. It's Dr. Robert Osfeld. He's a cardiologist and director of preventative cardiology at um, I think it's Albert Einstein. Uh, let me see what it is. Um, Okay, so here at this video that I'm going to go ahead and link right here so you can see the whole video right there. He is a founder and director of the Cardiac Wellness Program at Montefiore Health System and Associate Professor of Clinical Medicine at Albert Einstein College of Medicine. I wanted to get that right, guys. Uh, it's important. Um, he earned his master's in um, epidemiology from Harvard School of Public Health and a medical degree from Yale University School of Medicine and is a board certified. He's board certified in internal medicine, cardiovascular disease, and echocardiography. Um, by the way, I did a little re you can actually read the rest of his qualifications at the, at the, um, the card that I linked just, just previously. Um, I watched this video from, from start to finish. I just had my earbuds in and I was doing my cardio, just kind of low intent, you know, and it was awesome. I, I was like empowering to listen to this man speak. Now I went ahead on PubMed. He's got several studies and I will go ahead and conveniently list those in the video description box below. You can check out some of his work. I've actually seen some of his studies in the past and I was researching on the benefits of a plant-based diet and those kinds of things and you know and this is the first time I've actually seen him uh, speak and present and obviously he's been you know so he's been doing work for a while um, in this field and um, you know it just adds more credence and more um, you know uh, um, you know to, to the body of work and evidence that's mounting on the benefits of a plant-based diet and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just um, end this video like that. And my, I was really enlightened by the video. He is very, very scientific. He's very evidence-based. And what I like about the fact that he has um, clinical experience actually um, as a cardiologist, I think it's phenomenal. His qualifications are, are like epic. I mean, Harvard and Yale, that's, that's remarkable. Um, now... He, um, he does talk on one of the paradoxical um, aspects of a plant-based diet, whether it be um, you know, high plant-based or vegan. He talks about how the good cholesterol can drop in many people who uh, partake of plant-based diet or go vegan. And that t typically tends to be one of the caveats that a lot of the um, low-carbers and ketogenic uh, diet promoters and paleo promoters tend to tackle, right? Well... You know, the thing about it is, and, I, and I'll go ahead and attach a little highlight uh, of, of this presentation at the end of this video so you can see kind of the points and I'll subtitle it so you can kind of see that, the, you know, what I'm kind of, what I, the, the take home of this presentation. But the HDL, he talks about how sometimes the, uh, the level can be misleading and can be misinterpreted, particularly, so uh, in a Western, westernized society, in a Western diet, you know, what's normal is normal for that population. Whereas if you have a plant-based diet, those parameters can be different. And also, uh, it's it's not always the HDL level. There's actually controversy on this. And I'll link another video that uh, that talks about HDL right here by another cardiologist. It it, it it's more about the the um, the function of the HDL, and I believe the. Um, the actual, well, the quality of the HDL, well, it's called cholesterol efflux capacity, as or as Dr. Osfeld re refers to it, which is really cool. Like a, the vacuum, how how effective it is is being like a that's like a vacuum cleaner. How effective it is. So, it's and also there's a garbage truck analogy. Like for instance, think about garbage trucks being HDL and the garbage being being bad cholesterol, right? Or LDL or oxidized LDL. Well, if there's a lot of garbage to be picked up, more garbage trucks need to be on the road to pick up the garbage. So that's like, so a lot of times when you see a ketogenic diet or a high fat diet that elevates good cholesterol, that could be kind of a paradoxical situation, okay? Or compensation. In other words, and I see this a lot in a lot of ketogenic diet and even paleo, that bad cholesterol goes up, but that good cholesterol goes up too, right? And classically, it's been shown, and I, I, was, I was taught this coming up uh, in, my, in my organization that um, HDL is like the only, I think it's like, I think it's like a negative risk factor. In other words, it can cancel out a bad risk factor. Like if the HDL is above a certain level, I think if it's above 65 or 60, 
um, then it can cancel out like having a high total cholesterol or high L LDL. Well, as we know, times change and we learn more. Things get refined and things get, um, well, uh, yeah. So basically, um, back to the analogy, when there's less garbage to be picked up, there's no need to have all those garbage trucks on the road if there's less garbage. So inherently, the body needs less good cholesterol if there's less garbage to be picked up. Okay, now there needs to be m new research on this. This is a fascinating angle, a fascinating topic. But again, that's like one of the few caveats of a plant-based diet. Um, so, and, and also there's been studies to show that when, when, when good cholesterol is elevated from, from ph ph pharmacological interventions, it actually has no effect or in some cases it could actually increase the risk of heart disease, which is really intriguing, quite frankly. So um, HDL is kind of a current pending matter. Uh, it, there, there's no definitive results in yet, and I'm curious as to what the future, future research will, will reveal on it. But that being said, um, he addresses it, and he addresses it very, very elegantly in his presentation. So without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys check out some of the highlights that I took from his presentation, and uh, you know, go ahead and check it out. It was an incredible presentation, and uh, as, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, guys. Uh, if you got some good information out of it, and uh, feel free to ask questions and subscribe if you haven't. If you're already subscribed, you rock. Tune in next time. So let's fast forward a year. Blood pressure normalized, LDL even further reduced, and he's jogging now two miles. I saw him about, I don't know, a year ago, and he jogs about four miles now and stops because he gets bored. The, what typically, I'll, I'll present this slide, and what I usually get is, you know, Dr. Oswald, he's doing a lot better. That's great, and all these numbers are improving, but what about the HDL? That's the good cholesterol. That fell. What's going on? Well, it's true. There are a, a variety of epidemiologic studies that suggest that higher HDL levels are better, but it's well described that when you eat a plant-based diet, your HDL levels fall, and what is more important is actually, the devil, like anything, is in the details, the function of the HDL particle. Now, the HDL can suck cholesterol from the wall of your blood vessels, kind of like a vacuum cleaner. And we call that its efflux capacity, its vacuum cleaner capacity. And the better vacuum cleaner capacity the HDL particle has, the healthier it is. And studies have demonstrated that it's that vacuum cleaner ability, independent of the level, whether it's 25 or 55, but the better vacuum cleaner ability, the better outcomes you have. And there are aspects of a plant-based diet, particularly pistachios, that can improve the vacuum cleaner capacity of the HDL particle. So when I see this, the HD, this happening, it makes me actually secretly happy because I, when the HDL falls, I know they're doing it, and I believe that their HDL efflux or vacuum cleaner capacity is, of course, improving. And then when you step back, you don't want to lose the forest for the trees. The patient is doing much better um, as well. So we, talk, we did a world tour. We touched base on trimethylamine oxide, endothelial cells, interventional studies of Dr. Ornish randomized trial, Dr. Barnard randomized trial, the um, Dr. Esselstyn observational style and comparing that to courage. Um, we just touched base on the HDL particle. And that LDL, that bad cholesterol that can burrow into the wall of the blood vessel, you remember it can get oxidized and act like a splinter? Well, that process of turning it into a splinter is harder when you eat a plant-based diet.